Investors? Possibly you! Oh, this is classic. This is I'd like to present. Hey, what's up guys? It's Derek Flanders Chang here. This is my YouTube channel where I do golf and music and a bunch of other stuff. Today we're playing Bandon Trails. It's an awesome course and uh, this was a trip we did last summer as a team. There's the guy who organized the trip, so huge props to Frank there. He's a good friend of mine and we play a lot of golf together. He's a good player too. Uh, single digit handicap who is a really good putter and driver um, that's me there Derek Flanders Chang please connect on Instagram all that stuff if you haven't already and if you're enjoying this kind of content be sure to give this video a like give it a subscribe leave some comments down below that helps to drive the algorithm and uh, push this kind of stuff out to more viewers um, so what I'm gonna be doing here is just walking you through the round uh, hole by hole every single shot here and um, you know I'll kind of walk you through the thought process and what's what's going through my mind how I'm approaching the shots and what I'm trying to accomplish so first hole here we're really just trying to get settled in and uh, here we have a tester for par and the greens you know you're trying to just get a general feel and focus on making solid contact on your putts because if you're not making solid contact you can't really gauge anything else so that's mission number one solid and try to pay attention to the speed so I just missed that one but you know not too disappointed with a little bogey there overall go go yes baby nice par partner. save there for Frank just awesome save little thin shot for this par 3 it's gonna go over kind of into the junk there Frank put a really good move on that one Frank if you're Great watching shot. just swing like that all the time so here's a tough bunker shot and the sand was a little bit fluffy that day I really struggle with those shots out of fluffy sand and I, I tend to be better out of harder packed or even like wet sand I'm better at. If you guys have any tips equipment wise or technique wise for fluffy bunkers let me know. So yeah when you're putting for par from that far you just don't really expect to make many of them. But it's a really nice hole. Um, here's hole number three par five and just look at these views like this course there's a reason that there's this hipster take that Bandon Trails is the best course at Bandon Dunes I, I, I don't personally agree with that but it is the most different course and it's also probably the closest I'll ever get to playing Pine Valley um, so if you're into that kind of thing and like deep forest golf uh, like this kind of course is just a really special place and I will say the the property itself is really unique you'll see that especially on the back nine um, it's not just the holes it's the spaces between the holes and the sort of tour of the land that you get as you're going across the property We played this course just before they shut it down to prep it for the uh, U.S. Amateur, which you saw last year. Um, so there were some USGA guys out there just, I don't know what they were doing, just checking out the course or looking at pin placements, whatever. That looked like a really good swing there. Like, if I could do that every time, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Outside chance at a birdie putt. Drano. And I was popping, so four for three. Here's what I'm talking about between the holes, and I think this is what I wish golf vloggers would do this more. Just try to give you a better feel for the overall course, and I think that uh, the paths between the holes actually do a really good job of that. Everything's very intentional here. Hole number four. Good beefy par four. There's Harney. He's got such a smooth lefty swing. He claims to be like an 18 handicap, but I don't I don't buy it. 
at all. So this is 365 yards from back here. Not super long, actually. So I like doing these vlogs too because honestly I don't, I'm not good at remembering golf holes at all. Yeah, like if right. somebody is like, oh, what's your favorite hole of band? I'm like, dude, I don't, I can't even think past the third hole in my, in my mind. Like I need these videos to kind yep. of remind me what these things actually look like. So I do really kind of treasure this stuff and it's been really fun to record all these things. Tricky shot there where the backswing was impeded. So pretty low expectations and honestly happy to just be having a putter in my hand after that. Really good putt, but again, just a little bit sloppy. It's going to be another bogey. Man, kick. Very close. Five, another good short par three. And the land here is just incredible. Yeah, only 120 yards, and I completely blade kind of half shrink that one off to the right. So I, I'm taking a mulligan. And guys, if you're if you've saved up enough money to go and spend it at Bandon Dunes like as long as you're not playing in some kind of really serious match uh, go ahead and take some mulligans every now and then keep your round going but you know when I keep my score if I do take mulligans like that I, I'll put like an asterisk on the scorecard so I know oh I, I reteed or you know maybe I took a mulligan or had a flub shot whatever so this one will be a, a bogey with a star next to it Super good putt there from Frank. So good. Yeah. If really any of good. you better players have any tips for those multi-level putts, let me know because uh, those are ones I, I tend to ram them by the hole. I mean, what can you say? I think this is the reason that this is some people's favorite course on the property because the way the holes are framed. It's just so natural, it's so beautiful. Another kind of short par four from here. So I'm just taking a five wood and Hit it really good. Short or long? There I'm just asking Sean where the best miss is. And you, re you really should know that on every single shot you hit, whether it's a you know, tee shot or an approach shot. Even putting, you kind of have a miss if you want to leave it in a certain place if you're not you know, trying to make it. I think that's my first par of the round. <laughs> so there you see the, the USGA flags there. I think this hole was playing like 440 yards from back there, par four, and then uh, just another incredible reveal. So Sean had pointed me toward a USGA sign out there as my aiming point, but then he realized right before I was about to pull the trigger that there are two signs out there. So he wanted to make sure I was lined up correctly. So I'm glad he glad he caught me in time. Good poke. Again, we're making his job way too easy, but.
It's all right. So I went a little long and left into the bunker here. I think I hit a decent shot out of there, but it was a pretty tough kind of side hill, downhill lie. So maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 feet here. Oh, and Frank almost made that from off screen. It's probably a 30 footer. Really good putt overall, but yeah, another bogey. Oh, At this point in Kick the round, right. I'm thinking, you know, I'm playing pretty well. Like, yeah, made a birdie, made a few bogeys, made a par, and it's a pretty easy stretch going in on eight and nine to round out the nine. A short par four and then a par five. But I hit this little wipey kind of cut out there to the right. It's okay though because it's like you hit a bad shot. Par four, like 300 yards. Good risk reward hole. Like that gap wedge. Um, but yeah. Just a gap wedge in here, and then I don't know if I'm just getting a little too excited, I think, and hit a blady, blady shot over there. Here's your punishment for that. And I hit it out of the sand there with a gap wedge, and it actually checked up on me a lot. And I had no idea how it did that out of that fluffy sand. I was really expecting it to trundle down the hill like this putt is doing, you know, but just a tricky bunker. Here's a bogey putt and missed that. So that's a double on a hole that really should probably be a, a birdie chance or a pretty easy par. I had a really bad lie here, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough loft to make sure it got out of there. Good position. up the hill here and I should have walked it because it was more uphill than I thought and I left this pretty short so again longish par putt and it just really yanked that one so there's another bogey really limping in on the back or on the uh, end of the front nine here but yeah that's the uh, that's the front nine wrapped up And we're heading toward the 10th tee here. I'll show you the tee shots from there because it's a pretty cool hole as well. Uh, but yeah, that's a 43 on the front. Um, disappointing on holes 8 and 9 there to not be able to par birdie those. But overall, like really pleased with how well I was striking the ball. And yeah, you know, I was pretty grooved in by this point in the trip. This was one of our last rounds of the trip. And uh, was had been playing a lot of golf and feeling pretty good over the ball.
this Frank's tee shot. Nailed it. Absolutely pumped. Yeah. End of the video. There you go, guys. If uh, if you like this kind of content, then you know, please be sure to. Excuse me, everyone. If I can have your attention, please. Management. Financial portfolios. Insurance. Computers. Black leather gloves. Research and development. Putting in the man hours to study the science of what you need. Last week we put liquid paper on a bee, and it died. Security. Security. And. And. Investors. Possibly, Possibly you. you! Oh, this is classic. This is like present.